Hi, I'd like to show you how to transfer a large file to another person using the online utility called WeTransfer. Um, I'm going to transfer some photographs in this case and they're in this directory here and you can see there's five of them that are around about five megabytes each so that's about a 25 megabyte file, maybe a bit smaller if we zip it up. There's two ways that we can zip this up. Um, if, I, if I go back a directory here to photos and I highlight the, um, highlight the directory, I can right click it and then send to compressed zipped folder. So there we go. So there's the, the zipped fold folder and I can send that and that's 26 megabytes. Um, I'm not going to do it that way this, this time. I'm going to actually zip up the individual photos. I'm going to ignore that file at the top and um, I'm going to zip up those. And what, I, what I did to highlight them all was, was I highlighted the first one and then pressed the shift key and highlighted the last one and that highlights all of them. Another way that I could do is that is highlight the first one, hold down the control key and click individual photos. Um, and then I'm going to right click that lot and um, send to compress it folder here. So there we go. And it's created a, a, a file there. Um, that if I open up, if I can, there we go. You can see it's got the, um, oh, I opened it twice there. It's got all those five files in it. So let's just uh, quit out of those if my computer will let me do that. Okay, let's come out of there. Um, so now I'm going to transfer the file and um, I'm going to go to the web browser for that. So I've got one here and I'm going to use wetransfer.com. There you can see it. And it's going to come up. It takes a little, a few seconds. And you can see that the maximum file size you can transfer is two gigabytes. So I'm simply going to add files. And I'm going to go to where those file, that file was that I created. And it's in this directory here. So there's the file. Okay. Um, and um, it wants an email address here, I think. And I'll put in another one. And I'll put files for you in the message. And I'll do the transfer. Now that's going to take a, a little while to load up. As you can see, what it's going to do is it's going to load it all up and then it's going to send me an email in this case. So it would send whoever you were um, emailing to an email and then they could click a link in there to download it. So I'm just going to pause this and wait till it's loaded up and then we'll continue. So I'm back again now and it's taken about five minutes to upload this file uh, just on the last stages of it there. So I'm just going to wait till it finishes there. It's 100% and the transfer is complete. So I'm going to hit the OK button um, and that's done now. Um, so all I need to do is wait for the email, which is would normally go to the person I'm sending the file to. But um, as I'm going to get the file, I'm going to get that file, I'm going to get the email that goes with it uh, and the link. So let's check my email. It might take a little while to come in, in which case I'll pause this. Oop, little send receive error, let's just try again. Something's coming in. That's not it. I'll just see if it's gone to my junk mail. No, nope, just some junk. Okay, I'm going to pause this, and as soon as this email comes in with the link, I'll um, I'll be back to you, and we'll continue with this demonstration. 
Okay, I have the emails, it only took a, a minute or so. Um, I've got one telling me that uh, my file was successfully sent via WeTransfer here, you can see. Um, and um, we'll get an email as soon as the recipient has downloaded the, the, the file. Uh, and there's the file we sent. Um, and there's the download link if I want to access it as the sender, just to make sure it worked. And here's the email that the person you sent the email, uh, the, 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 the file to. Uh, and all I gotta do is click this download button. So I'm just gonna click that. There we go. Right, and we transfers come up and it's ready to download my file, so I'll click that. Click the OK button. And I'm using uh, Mozilla Firefox, so it comes up with this dialogue. You might be using a different one. And I'll save the file. I'm also using Windows for Windows 7, so if you're using a different version of Windows, some of the things that um, I showed you on the screen might be slightly different, but it, it should still do it even going back to XP. If you've got anything before XP, well, I guess it's time to upgrade, folks, because <laughs> um, that's pretty old then. Uh, but I think most people are on Windows 7 or, or Vista or, or XP. Some computers are still on XP. I know I've got some. Uh, so how are we doing on the download? Let's go and have a look. And on here, it's in Firefox, there's a little download indicator up here. And I think that's done. So that should be in my download directory. And there it is. I've got this um, listing the most recent files first. So there's the file that I downloaded. There it is with the pictures. And that's it. I hope that works for you.